Time now for a check on your forecast, and here's Katie. I threw a light rain jacket in my car today in anticipation of maybe catching a few showers as I get in and out of my car. Not expecting it to be a soaker of a day, but you can definitely expect those light showers. I saw it just very wet there on the parking lot earlier, and now it doesn't look like things are as wet, so this is, might be one of those moments in Salem where we're between showers, but I do finally see some raindrops on the lens here in Vancouver, and that's what I have been looking for is evidence of the rain. For your morning and early afternoon, afternoon you can expect that light rain mild temperatures we will even have some in the later part of the afternoon before we dry up a bit going into the evening and when we look at rain totals we might see something very similar to Thursday or maybe even a little more wet this is that second system that we talked about last week that's coming in and reinforcing and coming through bringing us some cooler temperatures bringing us a bit more showers and you'll notice that we get showery all across the region by the time we get to about noon now there will be breaks in different places at different times and that's why I say not expecting it to be a soaker over day we're just rains the entire day long. You'll get to see dry moments here and there throughout the day. And then it breaks up even more for us on Sunday until we get to Sunday night. And now we're starting to see some breaks in the clouds. Now Monday, most likely it will be mainly dry. You'll see an opportunity for a shower here and then maybe a shower here, but that's really about it. And it's not, looks like it's going to be much. It might not even be enough to register. And that's what we see here when we look at the forecast. You'll notice that we start to see some slow accumulation, everything filling in. And by the time we get to eight o'clock, we're looking at anywhere from just a little more than 10th of an inch to a little less than a quarter of an inch by eight o'clock tonight. Not too much. And then when you add what we could see by the midnight tonight, you'll notice that break and then you have a little more tomorrow and then really not too much. We're seeing maybe at most for the next three days, a half inch and that's for the Portland Metro, the valleys and even along the coast. And that's for three day total as we go into a dry spell. Now that dry spell, most likely we'll start Monday. We'll see, like I said, we'll keep an eye on those potential little showers that may happen here or there. And Tuesday, we start to see more sunshine. By Wednesday, Thursday, we're back into the 70s with most of the sunshine happening on Thursday. Friday, the ridge starts to break down, which allows a trough to move back in. That brings a few more clouds cooler temperatures, but still above average. And then keeping an eye on Saturday because we do have a chance for showers to return by then. We'll see how this ridge progresses and moves through the week. Overnight, we're above average pretty much every night except Sunday into Monday. Deb?